Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to uh, Death Note Reviews for episodes 16 and 17 in season one. Not like that matters, though. It was only one season, so... Um, I wish there was a second one. Yeah. Uh, but I'm here with... I'm AJ Talent, and he is Owen Finch, the uh, owner of this fine YouTube channel. Yes. So, we're going to talk about Death Note. This is probably one of the most confusing episodes of death note now not that that's a bad thing we shouldn't yeah it's like confusing on purpose yeah um it's not like a movie where it's so confusing and so weird that uh it's it makes it bad like this is so confusing and so weird that it, um it makes it good Actually, so. i just watched the movie open house and that was confusing and weird in the dumbest way possible that could be a movie monday with you someday yeah. so there you go i'm um, not watching it again though so you, you'll have to watch it it's on netflix Okay. Um, all right, so let's start talking about these episodes, though. Let's, get, let's talk about good stuff. Um, so, uh, episode 16, we're going to start off with that because we go chronologically. If we did 17 first, then we'd be, you guys will all be confused. So, go um, back. We're more yeah. confused than we are. Um, this episode is called Decision, and it came out in Japan um, on January 30th, 2007, and it came out, the English dub version, the one that we're watching, um, on February 8th, 2008. Now, watch, people are going to think we're racist because they're not watching the Japanese version uh, now. Filthy white people. Yeah. <laughs> awful. Shameful. Yeah. Um, so, um, uh, yeah, this, this was a really good episode, and I like the title because it um, ties back to uh, what Light and his dad have to do in this episode. Yeah. Um, so let's talk about it. The episode starts off, like, um, somewhere in the woods in, like, the middle of nowhere. We see Light, Ryuk, and Rem. As if, like, Light just talked about, like, what his big plan was. But obviously we didn't see, we didn't actually see that scene filmed because, uh, we're not supposed to see that. Because if we just saw that scene already filmed, then these episodes wouldn't be as awesome and good as they are, so. Right, um, we're supposed to be just as in the dark as Light is, but we'll get into that later. Yeah. Um, How and, get it in the dark? Yeah. Light. yeah. Um, and uh, Light gives up ownership of Mises' death note. And uh, this ties in because uh, even though, like, you know, typically if you give up ownership of a death note, you, you lose all memory of it. But because Light still has his death note, he can still see... Um, well, I don't know if he can still see Rem, but he still has, like, memory of uh, Rem and things like that, so... Um, and that ties in, and he also tells Ryuk, um, that no matter the context, when I give the signal for you to, for me to relinquish ownership of my death note, do it. Get rid of it. Um, which he I thought... that he's buried the death note under a tree. Yeah, so I thought that was, a uh, nice, uh, you know, I thought this scene was very nice because it really set up, um, this whole episode very well, so I thought it was awesome. Um, and back at, uh, the task force, um, you know, uh, Misa's starting to act very weird. Like, she's not, like, now she doesn't even remember, like, why she's tied up because she just gave up ownership of her death note. So she has no memory of her, you know, why she was taken and stuff. She just thinks, like, a stalker took her and stuff like that. Now, at first, when she said Mr. Stalker, I was like, is, is, she, is she referring to Elle by his, like, real last name? So I was kind of like, this is interesting, but no, that wasn't the case at all. Because technically now she shouldn't even remember what Elle's last name is now. Yeah, because... she doesn't, because she doesn't remember anything about the Death Note. And she doesn't have the eyes anymore. Yeah. So does that mean her so, lifespan goes back to what it was now? Since I think her lifespan's like still the way it was. Although okay. remember, getting the eyes cuts your lifespan in half. So like she increased her lifespan and then cut it in half. Yeah. So, so she'll the... still like, live to be ridiculously old, though. Okay. So... Um, so obviously this has, like, light, not, this has L all, like, conf like, a little bit confused because, like, you know, because she was basically, like, on the verge of, like, you know, mercy to the task force, pretty much, and now all of a sudden, like... Like, like cooperating, like, not, not about to confess, but she was, like, getting up to it. Yeah, and now all of a sudden, like, she's, like, you know, um, acting as if, like, she doesn't know why she's being kidnapped and things like that, so, um... This has Elle confused. And I'll let you talk about the scene where Light comes into the room. Because, uh, 
it could be pretty cool for you. Yeah, uh, Light comes into the room, and uh, he says, I might be Kira. And Al's like, okay, there's no maybe. Either you are or you aren't. And if you're saying this, then you are. Yeah. And this is when Al gets, like, turned blue, like turned into, like, the blue thing. Like the... Yeah, yeah, like, he's yeah, thinking to himself. Yeah. And Light's dad is freaking out about Light even saying this, because he can't believe his son would, you know, be such a monster. Yeah. Um, but uh, Light is bullshitting and saying that uh, he might be Kira when he's sleeping because he t- he thinks about Ray Pember and Misa and, like, all these different times that, like, he could be, like, Kira was, like, linked directly to him. Yeah. Like, obviously Light knows those are linked to him because he's Kira. But he's yeah. making it seem like he's Kira, but, like, like he's not aware of it. Yeah. Like he said, so, subconsciously, he's Kira. Yeah, which we all know is lying. And even L knows he's lying. But, like, and, uh, actually, you see L talking, like, through, uh, like, on the reflection of his coffee. But, like, you can tell he isn't actually talking. It's, it's like thinking. Like, it's I like, thought it, that was... kind of like a weird trick to show, like, he's just thinking. Yeah, I thought it was really cool. Um, so, Light decides to, um, like, you know, be locked up in a cell, um, with no access to any media or anything like that to prove whether or not he is really Kira, or not Kira. Um, and and obviously, then, yeah. Um, Chief Yagami's not happy about this because, um... You know, it's his son, and he, you know, he, he doesn't want to see his son, like, suffer for that amount of time and things like that. And he doesn't want, he doesn't really want, like, you know, a, an ounce of, like, percentage um, for his son to be, only his son to be Kira. So, uh, when Light gets confined and everything. Um, it's crazy. Like, they're throwing this guy in jail. Light's, like, 19, you know, like, 18, 19. Like, he's pretty young. Yeah. Well, I mean, eighteen and nineteen year olds have been thrown in jail before. It's not like it's a, a half. No, but like, like, like this, you know, like. Yeah. Like um, being in a cell, like chained, and like not allowed to move at all, you know. Yeah. Like, like um, it's inhumane, really. Yeah. Um, and uh, he's gonna be monitored by L. Like, like basically, he's gonna have the same thing that's happening to me to happen to him, except he's not gonna be like you know, it was as restrained as Miso is. So, um. But, uh, and, uh, Chief Yagami, um, has to make a call to his family saying that, like, Light's not going to be around for a while either. He has to come up with some type of bullshit story. We don't know, we don't ever find out. Light's poor mom and daughter, because we find out later what, what, what's going on with his dad. Uh, I guess, I guess they're just like, well, I guess my husband and son are just disappeared for two months. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> it was pretty damn, uh. I guess they went on a really long vacation. Yeah. Um, like who was paying? Who was paying the rent? I don't know because we don't even know what 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 like his mom does for a job. Like we don't even know if she works at all. So yeah. Um, it's not like it's a plot hole or anything like that because it doesn't really get brought up. But that's yeah, um, funny. Like her, like um, Light's mom and sister are just like, well, whatever. Yeah. Um, they just went on a nice family vacation, but forgot to bring them. So. Yeah. Um, but anyhow, um, so Chief Yagami, this brings us back to this, speaking of that, um, he thinks he's too emotional to, to be a part of this, considering the fact that, you know, um, he, he doesn't want to watch his, like I said, doesn't want to watch his son, um, suffer for that amount of time, so. Yeah, like he wants to be professional about it, but, like, he just can't when it's his yeah. son. So. L actually so, foreshadows something that happens next episode. He says that. If you found out your son really was Kira, you'd probably kill him and then kill yourself. Yeah, so this uh, this ties in uh, to the next... Uh, it does tie in, yeah. I thought about that scene until just now, yeah. Um, and then, um, basically the same thing happens to Chief Yagami that happens to Light. Um, but, except like, think- there's really no reason for him to need to do that. He just kind of does it because he wants to leave with his son, one way or another. Yeah, um... And he's not as bad. Like, like they can find him, but they still give him, like, updates on the case. And, like, yeah. you know, he has a cell phone on him. Yeah. So, it's he could still, like, call his wife and, uh... Imagine what those conversations are like when he's calling, like, his wife and his daughter. Like, when are you coming home? Like, I don't I don't know. <laughs> like, uh-huh. like... <laughs> when, when I find out our son is in serial killer. What? I mean, I love you. 
<laughs> yeah. Um, so we basically, uh, they were in there like over, like for 50 days. So like a month and ten, like 20 days they were in there for. Yeah. Um, so that's pretty, it's almost two months they were in there for. Like, yeah. um, but um, a weekend light does something uh, pretty interesting. You want to talk about it? He, uh, he gives up ownership of his death note. And he doesn't, like, you know, fully say it to Ryuk because he's being monitored by a camera. But he right. just says... be like, hey, Ryuk, buddy, I give, I give up my death note. Yeah. He just says, I have so much pride. I just want to get rid of it or something to that context. Um, so because he said get rid of it, Ryuk gets rid of his death note. And... Well, and well, not we have bits of it, but that's basically that's how Light gave up ownership of his death note. So, the second that happens, Light's character changes like that. Um, he, you know, I think he knows that why he's, uh, you know, in the cell, but he doesn't remember um, being like killed. The reason now. why he wanted to do it. Yeah. So the death note's weird. Like it, it gives up memories of like. You know, using the death note, but it's not like you like he just forgot the last like year he's been using it. Which that makes sense, like because it's like you know you can't like lose that because you shouldn't lose that type of memory like that. Like so, basically, he doesn't even remember like going to call like he can't even forget going to college now and stuff like that. So right, right. Um, so just like like he remembers asking L to put him in here, but he doesn't remember like why he wanted to do that. Yeah. So, but then he realized. Um, so Light basically goes back to what he was the fir- in the first episode, like the f- when we first see him before the Death Note. Um, Which is kind of interesting, seeing like how like seeing this Light and seeing how bad the Death Note like twisted him. Yeah, it, like it makes you. He became. It kind of makes you like, like we talk about how you can see like people's character development. Like, there's never been a time in a TV show where like they completely go back to like what they once were, um, in the first episode. Like, this is kind of a new thing that they've done um pretty much because now he's back to you know now he's basically he's like typically it'd be bad writing if he went back to his first episode like in a tv show but in this it case it's like not at all the series starts with the death note falling and him picking it up so like we never really get to see what he's like before the death note yeah so it's going to be interesting to see that so um are we also but like light's still under suspicion because uh while he's been in this cell no killings have taken place, so it's actually increasing Light's uh, suspicion now of being Kira. Um, but then we find out that pe- some criminals and stuff have started to die. Um, Two weeks in. So Light knew he was Kira for one week, gave up the Death Note, and then didn't know he was Kira for another week, and then killers started popping up again. Which shows the geniusness of... Uh, Light's plan that now he doesn't even know about. So, yeah. um, so. But Al knows something up. Something's up because you know Misa was suddenly like acting like she didn't know what was happening, and now all of a sudden Light is acting like he doesn't know what's happening. Yeah. So that that so he easily could uh you know you know, like release them now, but he doesn't want to um because you know something's up. So. He lie. He tell. He was, first, he t- tells Chief Yagami that um, the killings have started again. So Chief Yagami thinks that you know everything's gonna be fine now. Like he's gonna be able to be released. But he lies to Light, saying that there's been no killings taking place. So you still could be Kira. So Light's confused about that. Well, no, Light's like you know, not really kind of begging for mercy now in a way. Um, and. It's really cool because, like I said, you get to really see what Light was like before. Like, now Light's, like, um, you know, wanted out of the cell. And he's just completely, his personality is, like, completely different now. So, um, the end of the episode, that's basically how the episode ends. It just continuously to have the um, time that they're in prison go up. um, As, uh, and it just ends with, like, um, them watching... Um, them in the prison cell. So, um, yeah, really, uh, cause I think, cause we, we, I think we kind of already said the ending because we just jumped the gun a bit, but, um, this episode I thought was absolutely awesome. Um, 
because it was really awesome like to see like Light's plan stout, even though we don't know exactly like what his full plan is. Um, and now he doesn't even know what his full plan is. Um, and uh, it's really cool like to see Light go back to like what he was before the Death Note. Like we're gonna get, be able to see that character now. Um, it's just an absolutely awesome episode. I'm giving it an A plus. What are you gonna give, give this an episode? A plus too. Yeah, like not even definitely probably. Like, I talked about how the last episode was one of the best. I think this one, like, completely, like, trumped that last episode. We Not that that episode is bad, but it's just this one just has... Because this episode, like, changed the whole show now. Um, right. Because uh, we'll, get, well, we'll talk about that when we talk about the next episode. Because that changes the show even more. Even so. more, yeah. This, like, lays the groundwork for um, what happens next episode. Yeah. So then we have the, we're on the next episode, which... Um, it's called um, Execution, Execution, which, which is tied into what happens, you know, with his midway, death. yeah, midway through it. And the episode in Japan and in the U.S. aired a week after each other. Uh, I did check this time; that is the case. Um, because in the last, like the last one in English, it aired like a few days afterwards. So um, this one was actually a week. Um, so. Obviously kicks off with, like, them still in the cell. And now that at this point, the task force are just saying that this is too much. Um, right, it's been, like, over a month since they uh, found, and then since the killer started popping up again. Yeah, and uh, the task force are, like, calling out Light, no, no, like, L, saying that he just doesn't want to be one about the, you know, Light being Kira. Which you can make an argument that that's kind of what's going on, but that's really kind of not what's going on. I think L just knows like something's up right here. Like All right, but L has also said himself like that he's childish and hates to lose. So I think it's yeah. a little bit both. Yeah. Um. So, um, at this point, he brings in Chief Yagami, um, and he's explaining a plan, but we don't actually hear it. We we just hear like L's like sawn over it because and we then you see like. Uh, Light's dad's like expressions, like he's like, "Oh my god!" But we don't really see like what else telling him. Yeah, um, I poor, like that. Poor, poor Chief Yagami, you know, like this is the first time he's been out of his cell in like over a month, yeah. and it's to hear this crazy plan that I was talking about. One nice like visual thing I thought they did was you got to see like, because they talked about this in the last episode. Like it's this is actually hitting more harder on. I mean, obviously this was before Light gave up ownership on the Death Note, but it was. Harder for, like, Chief Yagami than Light. Like, Light's the guy that's actually, like, you know, a suspect. But it's more harder on Chief Yagami than it is on Light. Yeah, so, and they said, like, it's probably that way for other cases, too. Like, it's harder on the parents than the killers. It's probably... Di I, I bet that... I mean, it's probably even the same that... Even, like, even even now, like... But you, you can even, like, visually see, like, it's how much of a toll. Because his beard's all grown out. He's hasn't slept... Um, yeah, like his hair is all messed up. Messed up. Yeah. Um, and uh, since I talked about all the big stuff in the last episode, I'll let you talk about the big thing that takes place with the execution. Well, uh, their, the plan is... Uh, well, we don't see what else plan is right away. We just uh, see that uh, Light's dad is driving Misa in a car, and they uh, go to pick up Light. And uh, Misa yeah. still thought, like... Chief Yagami was the stalker that was keeping her captive for a month and a half. Yeah. Uh, but when Light introduces him as his dad, then she knows. Like, he's a policeman. Um, and he explains while they're in the car that uh, they are going to be executed because they um, have... It, they, the killing stopped. Well, he, he lies and says the killing stopped. Yeah. Uh, while they were in prison and uh, they were going to be executed. The UN wants this done secretly and quietly no one wants to like know about like who Kira really is yeah uh, Misa and Light flip out because they don't want to die but uh and, also, he, huh? and they tie it into like how he Light says that L's taking like the easy way out because this is like a, something that L wouldn't do yeah like L would want to play his game like fair and square yeah um I mean, he's calling, you know, Chief Yagami like a bad dad for choosing Al over his son. Yeah. Uh, but suddenly, Light's dad uh, stops by a pond, and he plans on shooting Light b before he can be executed, and then shooting himself, and then eventually the police will find the car, and they'll execute Misa how they were going to. Yeah. So he points the gun at Light's head, 
and you hear a bang, and then you even point this out. Great time for a commercial. Yeah, because like, um, because now we don't know what ha- let's. I think Death Note times that very well for the commercial breaks. Like this was a great time for one, um, because we don't hear we don't know what happened. So and you want to uh, talk about what happened when uh, Chief Yagami uh, we hear the bang. So we see that uh, the gun really didn't have like any bullets in it. It had like a blank bullet, but had no effect on uh, light or anything like that. So this was all a trick. Um, they they were just testing to see if they really were Kira because uh, well Kira's anyways. Um, because if Misa had been Kira, um, or if Light had been Kira, they would have just executed Chief Yagami, um, and have him have a heart attack before uh, the bane happened. Um, so which uh, and it turns know, out like L was watching the whole thing through a recording on the uh, dashboard, yeah, or, like on the um window yeah which uh you know that would be he, nowadays you could just facetime like chief yeah saw it like i i couldn't hear what you were saying your uh sound cut out oh i was saying like uh imagine like nowadays you could just facetime through a tablet it's like imagine too if you did that nowadays like the tablet like slid over like or something like that like saw uh, like uh, saw the tablet like uh, <laughs> that'd be rough. yeah so but they're not completely in the clear, because like the I was still suspicious because uh like Misa's fingerprints was still on those tapings and stuff on those tapes uh, of yeah, files yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. TV, TV, yeah. yeah. So, um, Misa can still return to her normal life, but she's still gonna kind of be restrained a little bit, and her man. Yeah, not, and, like, police are gonna, police be, are gonna be watching her. Watching her. Yeah, and like. Um, now her manager's going to be somebody from the task force, you know, working undercover now. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, and then um, Light and L are now going to be handcuffed together. Um, yeah. And they run each other 24-7. So that way, you know, um, Light can't... Um, so that way, like, L will... Until L was not suspicious of Light at all. At all. Um, which I don't even think even... I bet too. Like I don't even. Know, well, maybe I don't know. I don't think Light had that part of his plan pre. You know, him giving up his death note. I don't think that was part of his plan at all. So yeah, I don't think he could count on like L wanting to handcuff himself to Light. Yeah. So. Um. Well, like uh, I, and here on the episode isn't as good. We feel just because, like, you need some comedy a little bit. Like after how intense everything yeah. before this was, and like the last episode was. Yeah. I, I, we think it was like a little too. Like uh, cartoony-ish. Yeah, because they do some and Misa. We had we had too much Misa in this yeah, episode. Yeah, Misa's pretty annoying. So yeah, so that didn't help. I because I feel Misa's like the, that light can't go on like dates with her and stuff, and that she's like yeah. still under suspicion. And when she leaves the room, like L asks Light if like he's really as serious about Misa as she is, and Light says no. So there's still that tie in there, like you know that Light even even without like, the death note, he still doesn't like her. Yeah. Um, and, but L wants him to pretend, which that ties in too, because that's what he was doing pre, um, doing the death note. But now Light, but this is where you notice Light's character change now, because now he doesn't want to take advantage, um, of a woman. It's against his personal, yeah, it's against his personal beliefs. And even now notices this, like, Light, Light's acting different now. Um, because, uh, which is kind of funny, like, even without the... Like, even though, like, um, like, even L can catch, like, Light's personality is a little different now and stuff like that, so. It's cool that, like, this changes everything, because before, Light was just using everyone as, like, a tool, you know? Like, he didn't really care about anyone except himself. Yeah. Now, like, his relationship with everyone is completely different. Yeah. And I talk about this, like, L and Light's relationship is going to be different, because they were consistently having this chess match, um... And uh, and they were trying to... Each other. Huh? And now they're going to be working with each other. Yeah. Like, like legitimately, like, working with each other this time, too. Like... Right, uh, yeah. Before, Light was, like, kind of on the task force, but he, like, wasn't really. He was just kind of showing up every now and again. Yeah. And, uh, you know, before, like... Like I said, Light was trying to kill L. L was trying to turn Kiwa in and was consistently one step ahead of him. Now that's not the case at all. Like, uh... 
now they're actually going to be working with each other. Um, and then Light asks, um, are we still going to have to keep moving from hotel to hotel? Because um, I guess Light was getting annoyed by that. Um, which I wouldn't blame him. I wouldn't want to keep moving from hotel to hotel. So, um, Especially so when we, you're handcuffed like that. Yeah. Um, so then we find out that L has been working on... Want to say what L has been working on? He's been working on something. Uh, he had a giant 20-something story building built uh, oh. to use as their headquarters. Yep. And, and that's what, yeah, I kind of forgot <laughs> while watching this. Like, oh, yeah, L's, like, filthy rich. Yeah. Because he oh. solved, like, the biggest cases ever. So he's probably gotten, like, a ton of money from each one. Yeah. So, uh... And he has a personal butler, so, like, yeah. He's clearly so that's where, his, that's where his, uh... That's where they're going to be meeting from now on to talk about the Kiwa case. And, um... They talk some more. I don't really remember the context. I'm just going to go right to the end. Um, the end, we see uh, eight businessmen. Um, and we kind of saw this earlier. Like, we saw, like, a shadow of somebody writing names in a death note. We didn't really know who it was. And so we see that Lem's clearly given um, the death note to somebody else. Um, which makes... Which is po more part of Light's plan now because, uh, you know, now the kill Because now the killings have continued. So this, you know... Um, but it's like, make well, we find out from this like, board meeting that criminals are dying, yes, but also like wealthy businessmen. Yeah. So it ends with like them showing the eight guys, and we're questioning which one is really um, Kira, the new Kira now. Um, and it turns out like all these guys are like like next, like one of them is next in line to be the CEO of like some big company. They're all filthy rich and like yeah. Big business um, guys, and like they know Kira is one of them. They just don't know. They don't know which one among them is Kira. Yeah. But uh, they've been having these meetings to say like whoever whoever among us is Kira, they should kill this person, this person, this person. Basically. Yeah. And uh, like like get rid of their competitors, basically. Basically, and we see them. We it's like standing over one of them, but we don't know which one because uh, they're all like sitting in a circle, so we don't know. Um, What's what she's like standing over? Um, and uh, she says humans are truly disgusting, which, which is, is a, you know, which is like the opposite of what Ryuk usually says. He says um, humans are so interesting. Yeah, so, so it kind of shows how different they are. Like Ryuk looks at this as like a like a like a game, like a like entertainment. Yeah. Rem is like personally invested in like Misa and everything, so she is like disgusted by all these humans. Well, it's going to be interesting, then. What's where Yuke's tie going to be now with all this? Because uh, right, we have Yuke's just gone. Like, we don't know where he is. Like, there's no way he's just going to be gone now. Like, is he going to give his death note to somebody else and get bored again? Or, uh... I feel like, though, like... It's... Where Yuke's going to have, like, a big difference, though. Like, like he had fun being with Light, because Light was so intelligent about the death note. Like, if he gives his death note to, like, some dumbass or, like... Some businessman, he's just gonna be like, "Oh, this is boring now." Like he'll get bored now with that now, like too. Like Light made it fun and interesting. So um, uh, even points out like when he meets Light a few days after he has the, he gave him the death note, he was like, "Wow, you've written more death no names in the death note in a few days than anyone has ever." Yeah. So um, I wonder if that's that changed. Shows that Light was like really serious in, about. Yeah. This. I wonder if that's kind of. I wonder if that's kind of changed now because uh, you know. Um, cause we don't know how many guys that business guys written down. So, um, but yeah, this was for about a month though. So he must've written a good amount. Yeah. But this episode was also awesome. Like I said, not as awesome as the last one. I think like it got too, a bit too caught too, like after the execution scene, it got like a bit too cartoony and things like that. So the things, um, you know, there was some stuff after that that were good. Like, um, you know, Light and, and uh, L being chained together. Yeah. And the, uh, and the ending was really good because right, really, like them having like, a new headquarters is pretty cool. Yeah, so I'm gonna well, I, we're gonna give it a. Do we do A or A minus? I'm gonna go A. Um, I'm gonna give it. Yeah, I'm gonna give it an A. Yeah. Um, and like I said, we, these two episodes are really significant because this cha these two episodes like change like the show's structure now. Um, from how it was before, which uh, you know, I think is gonna be now. Light is like trying to catch Kira. When he doesn't even know that he's Kira. Yeah, so... Gonna be interesting to see... 
And like I said, I think slowly, ever so slowly, we're going to see like Light's plan that he had play out. Um, maybe not the way he thought it would, because I don't think he expected like a new headquarters and stuff to be built. And, you know. Yeah, he can't, he can't plan for everything, but, um, and like he has to take into account that like he himself wouldn't know the plan and would be trying to catch Kira. So like he has to plan that, okay, I'm going to be like working against myself. So I need to kind yeah. of predict like what I'll do when I don't have my memories. So it's going to be interesting. Like Light was planning for him, like against himself in a way too. Like, Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> like, and Light has... Only Light could try to outsmart himself. Yeah. And, like, this isn't even, like, and this really isn't, a, like, this is, like, Kira trying to outsmart himself now, like. Oh, yeah, um, it's, yeah, when you think about it, it's kind of like Kira versus L. Yeah. I mean, Kira versus Light. Yeah, so, that's definitely interesting. But we're done talking. We just want to, we just want to watch the episode because uh, we want to watch as many as we can before, uh. Yeah, we'll you know. definitely get to the time skip before I, uh, head to Massachusetts and we'll, uh, do some videos together. Yeah, so that's basic. That's pretty much it. Is there anything you want to plug or promote? Uh, check out my channel, AJ Talent. I'll be uploading a video later this week when I get my uh, cap and gown for my high school graduation. And uh, check out my YouTube channels, this channel, obviously, for more Death Note talk. Um, and uh, I want to talk in NATO and see them brothers. We'll, we'll, I'll have some videos uploaded for that. And that's pretty much it, guys. We'll talk to you guys later. Peace.